Let's look at how to uh, get rid of the fear we have of the C6 tuning, okay? And I think one of the things that, that puts people off is when they hit the C6 tuning, they hear all these pedals, which we discussed in the essentials, but they hear all these What in the world do I do with that pedal? What do I do with this? Nothing makes sense, you know. It's not easily recognizable. As with the E9, you know, you just go, you know, oh, that's a minor. It's like it, you can almost do no wrong on the E9. Okay, well, the C6 is actually the same way. To get rid of the fear, okay, we all know what unison is. Unison is when you find the same exact note in the same uh, register on another string and you play it along with. Now, see, that's a unison. That's, this is in the key of C. So watch what happens. I'm going to find the unison on the C6 on the fourth string, which is at the third fret. Uh, let me find the unison on the fifth string. How I found this years ago was by guessing. Now, if I just hit the same grouping, this is a C triad, three, five, six. So now my unison is on the fourth string at the third fret. So if I keep that same spacing, so which means I would have to play four, six, and seven, I get a C minor. Now, if I keep the same uh, string spacing as I have already established, and I go to the next unison, the fifth string, at the fifth fret. So listen how that sounds. Now, if I wanted to, I could, uh, let's find out where, let's put one more unison. So, now on the sixth string, it puts me at the eighth fret. So let's just... I, this note doesn't work. I would have to go. I would have to raise the ninth string to make that work. So let's see what this sounds like. And then I just go back to right here. All the notes from the ninth string forward. They actually, all the notes 